play it. Is what? I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah. Well, me? No, no, this is the intro. There. No, this is the intro. I seen them. I seen them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Good evening, messenger. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Brother, she was so kind. The shit she put up with from her daughters and sons, the shit that no mother want their daughter to do. Brother Elijah Jr. talking that shit, he had more mission than his damn father. See, mm. mm. Akbar and Walt were the smartest ones. Nathaniel was a nut. He did his thing out in Kansas City. Nate is down in Kansas City. But let me tell you something, bro. This is, bro. The girls, man, especially Ethel. Ethel was a nut. You need to ask Belinda more about Ethel. Because see, all of them, see, she grew up in this house because Raymond Board, who just died last year, you know, I know she told you her father her just father. died last year. Her father, her mom is still alive, mm -hmm. yes. No, her father died last year. Yeah. I think Belinda's mom's still alive. Yeah, her mom is still alive. But her alive. father died yes. last year. Captain Raymond died last year. Right. Now, she grew up in that house. The bakery that he ran, that was Elijah's bakery. She Elijah had a lot of young girls in the bakery because he was getting that young pussy. I ain't gonna take my word. Ask, ask Belinda, she was right there. Mm. See, but a lot of shit y'all don't know, bro. A lot of shit I believe, and he was a good guy. He taught the truth. He cleaned us up, but bro, you can't clean up somebody and, and do and dirt yourself. See, but that's why a lot of brothers tricked up today. That's why a lot of brothers are glad when the Imam walked in Muhammad King and, and took us out of the boat. We were locked down like shackles. A lot of them brothers couldn't do nothing. The brother could say something to your wife back then. Say your wife got to go to Chicago, brother. Mm -hmm. The brother did me question why my wife going to Chicago to, to see the Lamb of God. Some of us called him the Messenger, last Messenger, and some of us called him the Lamb, the Lamb of God. Bro, if a joker walk into you and said your wife got to go to Chicago, what you going to tell him right now, Fred? Oh, I'm, what you going to tell him that the, the pair of say he, he needed to see his sister in Chicago? What you going to tell his nigga today? Oh, he ain't going. She ain't going. Already. You see what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. See, that's how. He had a trick, bro. Especially the brothers that went in twelve. See, most of the brothers, most of the brothers in Philly came out of that gang war situation. We care about those structures, those damn way. We just been part of what was going on at that time, bro. Not one time I told you my wife used to curse Raymond and Reef a lot of them out all the time. They bought up and come to save the day. Mm. But she didn't pay them day. She's just up in the hood. The fuck. She done all the time. She's the effort. She said, especially Elsa, she liked a lot of it. Bitch, I bleed every, you bleed every month like I do. So why, why you get a fur coat? I can't. She said, because I'm the messenger's daughter. She said, that nigga going no mess. That nigga going fucking young girl. Well, my wife, Tiny was a motherfucker, boy. She was a motherfucker. Lottie was, she, you she, said? <laughs> no, no, she would tell you after that. Oh, okay. Lottie was more humble like a mother. Mm -hmm. She had a way, but... Elsa was a motherfucker, man. Really? None of his sister liked the Elsa. Mm. But Elsa thought she was better than him. So, once my wife started talking slick and back, her and her girlfriends that was in the nation, out of Philly, talking back to Elsa in front of everybody, they just said, y'all sisters better wake up. This old tired bitch bleed every month like we do. So what makes her any better than her? She get cramps like all us women do. So what makes her any better than her? So a lot of stuff started waking up. A lot of stuff got put out because they said, my wife, they said, Tanya was crazy. You can't hear Tanya Chicago. Tanya said, fuck all y'all. I was sending black gangsters out of Philadelphia and my husband, I got a crew that my husband don't have to send his crew. So I, I wouldn't say that. I let her talk, but she always been her own woman. 
she tell me I'm a home woman. I'm married because I love you and you're a children's father. But if you pay them day, <laughs> obviously, no crew in my crew be going to war. She hated Ethel. Mm. Ethel was a motherfucker, man. Ethel, Ethel was fucking more than young FOIs than you thought she was fucking. Ramis Reeves didn't care because he couldn't do nothing for her. Mm. It's less. It's led that the last two kids of hers ain't ready to reach. That's what it's led to, but I don't know if you heard that or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I did. Yeah, I, I, I have, but I, I only speak on what I can, what I know. You yeah. know what I mean? See, but you heard, I tell you, it's true or not. Mm-hmm. Ethel, Ethel was a hoe, man. Mm. The old hoe. With old ass fur coat. But maybe she couldn't do nothing. Maybe she was just there. He was the plain child. Remember, did you know that Raymond couldn't read or write? Mm-hmm. Man, was he literally, wait till he was driving a cab. Oh, after being the Supreme Captain all them years, and you didn't, you couldn't do, you, you didn't have, have no connection to get nothing else. You had to drive a cab for a living till you died. Think about that. Come on, wake up. You ain't nothing slow about you. You just want to get it from me. Right. Come on, brother. Hmm. See what I'm saying to you, brother? This is real, man. Wow. This is real. Next question, bro. <laughs> I got to start Come my on, show, man. man. Damn. No, because you know I, because you know I need some help, man. I'm fucked up. You know I need you. Come on, now. You better give me why you got me. You get all the dirt on the lines and stuff. Why you can't? Why you got me? <laughs> no, you never, you, you, you never spoke of the conversation.